The Jewish love story with India goes back to the times of the Inquisition and even as far back as ancient times, Jews were believed to have found themselves along the coast of India during the time of King Solomon and even after the destruction of the first temple. A touching new film gives us an inside look at a bond between an elderly Jewish woman from Cochin and her adopted son and grandson of Muslim descent. We are very happy uh, to share this very touching story of harmony and love between people of different backgrounds. Please welcome Sarat Kotikal, the director of the new film, Sarah, Taha, and Tofik. Also joining us is Susie Vogan, the niece of the film's protagonist, the late Sarah Cohen. Hello, and welcome to both of you. Thank you. So first, let's start with you and tell us a, a bit about the story um, and what is so interesting about the, the Jewish families of, of Cochin and the fact that your late aunt was able to live there all the way through her life. Yes, she really chose to live in and to stay in Cochin because she said she had everything and they really were very happy. Jewish community, it was actually called Jewtown is what they yes. called it? Yes, yes. It was Jewtown where I, uh, I and my sister and everyone, we lived in Jewtown Cochin, which was a few houses, but they had like six, uh, cemeteries and six uh, synagogues. I was born in Jewtown, Cochin, in a house. We were all, we didn't go to the hospital. It was always in the house. So, so explain to us, um, you know, how her story got, uh, got into your hands and why this was a, such a great learning experience for you as a, as a new filmmaker. Yeah, it happened uh, very unexpectedly in my life. Like I, when I was doing the, my graduation, I, I went to the street, this uh, Matanjari Jew, Jew town, which is so famous for the Jewish uh, history. So uh, I, I went there, I, I saw these places, but I don't know where to start with. Then one guy told like there is a, uh, there is a uh, elderly Jewish woman here, her name is Sarah. And she's always smiling, and she's always uh, uh, welcoming. Yeah. She's, yeah. She, uh, all the tourists from all over the world, not only Israelis or yeah. Jews, everyone passed through the window. window yeah, yeah, she sat in the window <laughs> like a sheriff, and everyone who passed in the Jew town, which was a small street, and in the end of the street the, was the, the synagogue. synagogue. One was involved in the calligraphy as yeah. well as uh, taking care of her. What was your experience in, in you know, being able to be a, a small piece of this existence that they had together? See, I never found any uh, religion in between them. There was no religion. Uh, there was no religion or, you know, it's all about love and respect. It's all about how we all should take care of uh, our elderly ones in our home. Because when we started filming, it's, it was all about uh, Jewish-Muslim friendship, secularism. But uh, after one or two years, uh, we started in 2013, but one, after one or two years, it was all about, you know, uh, love of uh, Taha and Taufik and Sarah between them. And the film, uh, it, it's all about the uh, dreams. Like, uh, she had few wishes to see the wedding of Taufik, to see a synagogue full of people. Mm -hmm. And uh, you could see all these uh, wishes uh, fulfilling at the end of the film. So, which happened, uh, since, it's a, since it's a documentary, I could not, uh, uh, you know, stage all these things. But eventually it all happened. To okay. see a woman that was really such a, a strong female leader in a country where there's a lot of religions, yeah. in a time where the, the history of the Jews was yeah. not always positive, yet this woman is a really she, a feminist yeah. before we really, really know what that word she means. She was in that way a pioneer because she had, when she believed in something, she went for it. Like, she married Dickie uncle when they had the gap between them was almost 20 years. Uh, she took care of him till the last day of his life. Bye. Thank you so much uh, for sharing this story and thanks for bringing it yeah, here to Israel. I know that you had an opportunity to screen it at the Museum of the Jewish People, which uh, actually has the Pardesi Synagogue yeah, in one of I their even have exhibitions. A, a picture and the a dress yeah, from Cochin, wow. contributed by the family. Yes. Beautiful. Well, I look forward to peeling uh, the layer of this great history even more. I wish we had more time. Thank yeah. you both so much. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.